I just want to talk about what a packed shoulder actually means and how do we keep it packed while we're going through a quick swing. The first thing we have to talk about though is your scapular range of motion of what does packed actually mean from a biomechanical or anatomical standpoint, okay? So your scapula has multiple different uh, ranges it goes through. So I'm going to just talk through the first one. The first is scapular protraction where the scapula is pulling away from the midline. And then you have retraction is going towards the midline. Then you have elevation up, depression down. So when we're going into the setup of your swing, you're coming down here. What you're thinking of, or when we say pack that shoulders or pack the lats, it's really you're going into scapular depression and slight retraction away. And that's activating your inner muscles, your middle trapezius, your rhomboids. And when you go down in a shoulder flexion here, that's where you get some lat work in, right? So this is that packed shoulder. So that's the first thing. Second, let's apply it to an actual kettlebell. So let's grab a kettlebell. First things first, whatever you're doing, especially when it comes to hinges and swings, slow it down, AKA do a deadlift, practice it with a deadlift. So you're gonna go into your hinge stance. You're gonna do a single arm deadlift because we wanna carry it over to a single arm swing. Going to your hinge and grab that kettlebell and hover. Now all I want you to do is practice scapular protraction, retract, tighten. Protract, retract, tight. So you can see here I'm feeling a lot more engaged. And notice how naturally my shoulder is going from IR to internal rotation or ER into external rotation. That's gonna be a lot more easier. Then you wanna start working on reps, keeping that shoulder packed in reps. So here, pack. And if you feel like your shoulder's starting to loosen up, Again, just reset, tighten it back up again, and lift, okay? And then last, you start applying that into your swing. The key here is your setup. You gotta have a good setup, starting off with that engaged shoulder. So pull that shoulder back and tight, and then hike back. Think about a quick pull down, up. And when you're at the top of the swing, I want you to think about Shoulder back and down here. So almost like someone's pushing you, push down at the top and relax. All right? So those are the quick steps to your keeping your shoulder.